In this short video, I'll be taking you through through a whole series of examples and giving you the chance to practice how to approach photo interpretation questions for the Cambridge IGCSE Geography exam. And this video will be focusing on theme 3.2, food production. So the syllabus about uh, photo interpretation requires you to give simple descriptions of human and physical landscapes and geographical phenomena events from photographs, aerial photographer, phot photographs, satellite images and GIS. So the purpose of the video is to give you a breakdown of example questions, common points to consider or theory to revise and to use and implement and um, apply when looking at a photograph, some exam example exam responses and we'll give you some example ones, some actual other questions to practice from. Remember, all of these questions are described questions. The number of marks reflects the number of unique observations, features, points that need to be made. So when it comes to food production, this rather neat diagram, systems diagram from the Safe My Exams website highlights exactly what you need to know. You need to be able to, for various farming techniques, identify the inputs, processes and outputs. So what I'm going to do now is take you through the various types of farming and what their common inputs, processes and outputs are with a definition of each of the six type of farmings that you need to know from the um, syllabus. So here's the first one, this is arable farming. So if you need to, pause the video and take some notes. Pastoral farming. Mixed farming. Commercial farming. Subsistence farming. Intensive farming. And extensive farming. So let's take one of these questions that could be asked. So you get given an image from a resource paper and you need to identify uh, what type of farming you can see. So you've got one mark to do this. So what you need to do is decide, are they growing crops? Is it involving animals? Is it mixed? Is it subsistence farming? Is it small scale? Is it intensive? Is it extensive? So if you look at the examples here, you can tell that they're not asking you to identify arable, pastoral, or mix, but if they were, we could say it's an arable farming because we only see crops. Now, is it subsistence, intensive, or extensive? Well, for me, it's intensive because there are lots of crops grown on a relatively small space. So I'm going to tick intensive. And that's what the mark is. Now the question asks you to describe the features of the agriculture shown in figure 6.1. And remember, I need to identify four unique features. So, to start off, is it arable or pastoral? Is it one crop or multiple? Is there examples of crops, clear examples that we can see? Are the plants grown in rows or is it just a random distribution? Is it small or large scale? Is it done by hand or is there obvious signs of machinery? Is it one person or multiple? Is the land flat or done on steep lands? with terraces, and are there any buildings? And if so, what are their size and shape? So to start off, we can say that the farm in Indonesia appears, appears to be arable. It's growing one crop on flat lands. The crops are grown in rows on a small scale, mainly done manually by one person. So the huge amounts of things I've been able to identify from that picture. And if I look at here, I am covering more than four marks. And here's another example, again, for two marks, I need to identify um, the types of farming shown. So if I take the first bits, is it arable, pastoral, or mixed? It's definitely arable. And is it subsistent, intensive, or extensive? Well, for me, still intensive because there's lots of crops grown on a very small space. And here we go, there are the marks available. Now the question goes on to explain how soil erosion has been prevented in this area. So for that, I need to identify the definition of um, soil erosion. So it's the removal of the top layer of fertile soil. And so that could be done through water or wind erosion, through deforestation. And so I want to know is how they tried to prevent the causes of soil erosion. So I can say, and what you saw there, a quick image of contour farming. So they have used terracing to slow down surface runoff. Definitely, you can see lots of terraces there, and trees have been planted around the farm to help bind the soil together. You can see within these um, little paddy fields, you can see trees have been planted. And there's the masking. Next bit is 
Using evidence from 5.2 only describe how this has been done. So how have they used this land to increase food supply? Well, if you're going to increase your food, you need several things. You either need more sun, more rain, more fertile lands. So you can either get more sun, maybe grow that in some sort of um, house with UV lights. You add more water or you cut down trees. Or alternatively, you can plant GM genetically modified seeds or you use fertilizers. So we can see that trees have been cut down to allow more land to grow crops. The land has been irrigated, so the crops have more water and crops have been planted directly into the ground. They haven't put seeds into the ground, they've directly planted crops. And here we go, so activities means you have to tell me what action has happened, what processes have happened. Another quick question here, you might have to describe the fields and land you've shown in the photograph. So I've just quickly gone for the first bit there that you should know. And so if I'm going to do the bottom question, again, I'm going to do a comment on the shapes of the fields, the size of the fields. Again, if it's arable, pastoral, mixed, is there some fields that are bare or have they been planted? Is it steep or flat? And how have the crops been grown? So here I can say that the fields are mainly rectangular in shape or different size. There are many rectangular in shape or different sizes, sorry. Fields are either planted with crops, arable, or left bare, and the fields are mainly flat. Now I have to then describe the land use. I've done the fields and then have to go on to the land use. So what, how's that land been used? Well, possibly for roads, buildings, lakes, ponds, reservoirs. Again, for various plant bare or planted fields, and there might be some trees. So with those points, I can write something like this. I can add to the bottom that the land around the fields is used for roads with some buildings and small lakes. And then again, the question asks me to give evidence from the photograph which shows that the agriculture in the area is irrigated or artificially watered and done for commercial use. So if it's irrigated, what evidence can I have? And I've got the land use again. So certainly there are small reservoirs located around the farm. And large areas of land used for crops only. The farm appears to have large storage facilities and some machinery is visible. So remember, it's commercial. You want to grow lots of the same type of crop to sell for a profit. And there's the mark scheme there for you. Moving on to another one where we have to look at the human and natural inputs of each farming type. Again, take each image, identify if it's arable, pastoral, or mixed, and then if it's subsistence, intensive, or extensive. If it's one crop, or one animal, rows are random, small or large scale. And if it's manual or done by machinery. So the inputs for this is we've definitely got, um, and you can see here I've got loads more things to consider. It's definitely pastoral animals. So what are the inputs involved with animals? And it's grown intensively. So on flat lands. So I'm going to say that for this, I'm going to need, um, the farming type is pastoral. That's what it's requiring me to do as they're intensively rearing chickens for profit commercial uses. The human inputs to the systems are the large building, as you can see, and the natural input are the chickens and the food and material that has been placed on the ground. Other things to consider are, again, going through the motions. You can see here, considering all of these things at once, we can see it's arable, Definitely extensive, huge field, two crops. No animals, it's definitely large scale. And probably evidence of some machinery. So we can say that the farming type is arable, which extensively covers a large area. It appears that they are growing different crops for commercial means. The human inputs into the system are fertile soil, large, relatively flat land, and seeds for the crops. With, and you could also put some machinery as well, because you can see the lines put into the ground. So here are some practice questions for you to do. So please have a go, then pause the video to check, then to pause the video, have a go, let the video run on for you to check your answers. So here's the first one. Pause the video now, please. Second question. Third question with the mark scheme. Second question, sorry, with the mark scheme and the mark scheme again. 